Hi there. We have another carbon filament lamp. This lamp was out of a heater, a medical heating lamp. Um, the name on it, we can see by looking at the base, is John Bell and Croydon. John Bell and Croydon. The Croydon doesn't refer to the town of Croydon but there is certainly a connection with this bulb and Croydon in a way a sad connection after what happened a few weeks ago I bought this bulb many many years ago and the shop that I bought it from was later taken over by the Reeves company who has been in the news of late they were completely burnt out during the, uh, the riots in Croydon so it's got a bit of historical interest um, the shop it came from before it became Reeves was um, best called a junk shop. There was heavy machinery, lathes, heavy stuff and this bulb was just laying there in the window. How it survived I don't know. I popped in and I bought it. As you can see it's a carbon filament. It's not a pip top so it's, it's not that, well it's not ancient but it's fairly old. Showing signs of blackening so it's had a bit of use it's a nice it's the coils rather nice because it's got nice tight coil it's supported in two places the support does it in two places it's virtually a ball shaped bulb the cap or base is the type found in certain spotlights that you get you've got like a brass collar it's a bit corroded brass collar a vitrite ring and then the actual screw fitting typical way the filament goes from the pinch it comes down and then up the way they join these on is actually carbon paste what they join the filament to so it's carbon filament and it's joined by carbon paste and it's also where the support goes that's held by carbon well huh, it w would have been but these ones I see are not they're just held by a loop Anyhow, nothing else I can say about this, I don't think. But as I say, it is a constant memory of where I got it from and sad memories of the furniture store, which, which is no longer there. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Any questions, feel free. Thank you again.